All right. <laughs> Mr. Walleye. <laughs> I'm with Mr. Walleye, Ted Takasaki. And Ted, you know, when it comes to, to catching walleyes, and here it is, spring of the year. Get that walleye out of my face, would you? <laughs> <laughs> spring of the year, we got an incoming river, you know, and the fish are done spawning. And basically, we've got fish in the shallows all the way out to like 20 plus feet of water here. There's a fish. When it comes to jig and walleyes, let's talk a little bit about weight of jigs. You guys make the max gap jig, excellent jig. You can put that one back. In fact, uh, yeah, the real key here is to maintain bottom contact. That's why we make several different sizes of jigs, 3 eighths, quarter, 1 eighth. When we were up a little bit shallower, you needed to use a little lighter jig. Mm -hmm. Now we're right on the edge of the current. You can see the current seam, slack water, fast water. We're right on the edge of that, and these three eighths are working a lot better. Well, ideally, in a situation like this, you should have eighth, quarter, and three eighths because you could use them at all different depths here. When I tried a quarter ounce in really shallow, I was snagging up a lot, losing jigs. So I went to an eighth ounce and I started catching a lot of fish. But you guys like it when people lose jigs, don't you, as a <laughs> well, tackle you know, manufacturer? I think it's important to catch fish. That's the most important All thing. right. Remain on the bottom. Good bottom contact, right way to jig, you catch a lot more fish.